Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fable 2 episode. Today I want to get started with a side quest. Let's do this one, rescuing Charlie. I'm so indecisive right now. Looked like it wasn't going to load there for a second. Let's go help poor little Charlie out. Hey there, you. Right after and so the picking up a gift. Vowed to stop the bandits crimes of but you can't get me. Hone your strategy. You'll never catch me. Game. Charlie, Charlie, is that you? Oh, you're not my poor sweet Charlie. I brought my darling little boy to Bower Lake for his birthday. He does so like a nice picnic. <laughs> I only turned my back for a second and, and he was gone. You have to find him, please. He's so very helpless. Okay. I should never have let him out of my sight. Oh, thank you, dear. Thank you. He ran off saying he was going to explore some caves. Playing adventurers again, of course, the silly boy. You know how children are. They always think they're old enough to make it on their own. He might get scared when he sees you. So here, take this note so he knows you're a nice grown-up he can trust. Shadow. Good deal. Fiend, you're I'd about as scary as a to be kitten in a brandy you. glass. I just need to find a job. Off the caves we go. You should be a model or something. I really must leave now. <laughs> See ya. This game is running a lot better. Than it was previously. My last recording I made the mistake of uh, having HDR turned on. It just looked really saturated and unnatural. Never making that mistake again. And a little rabbit. I will let you live. Oh. This way. Yeah, I'm getting some stutters here and there, but... Nice. Gotta make that bread. It'd be nice if they could do some kind of throwback to, uh... The first fable. Where you would fight like Thunder's you Ghost or the old Yield Master. Ah, a fellow explorer. What spiffing good luck. Maybe you can help me. I say. What's that you have there? That handwriting, surely it can't be... Give me here! Oh. 
grandmother. I should have known. My name is Charles. Charles! And I'm a belly brave adventurer myself. Oh, she does make my blood boil. How would you like some old woman telling you what to do all the time? Still, you don't seem like such a bad egg. Uh, perchance you could lend us a hand opening this bother of a chest. Every time I get close, a band of those undead blighters shows up, ready to tear me limb from bally limb. Be a good chum, and keep the beastly coves off me, will you? Soon as I start on the chest, the rotting rotters will start their dismembering japes. Just keep them off me while I work my magic on the lock. Isn't this exciting? Oh. There's a silver key over here. And hopefully I just didn't mess this up just by going to go get a silver key. want to impose, but I do fancy I could use some assistance over here. To whoever reads this, we're really sorry, but we may have accidentally cursed the tomb when we took the Nom Norman Namacon book from this coffin. You might want to make a run for it. Regards, Max yeah. and Sam. It Gosh, does make a throwback to them. I see that coming, I must say. This is a bit of a tight spot, isn't it? Let's show them what fucking courage I'm all about! I think he can actually die, so I'm going to do my best to try and protect him. Good thing about the sword that I have, it's really good at taking out crowds.
feel like it never ends. <coughs> Excuse me. like that. How many times do I have to tell you, don't go where Granny can't see you? Oh, Gran. Don't, oh, Gran me. I don't think you deserve your birthday present this year. In fact, I think your rescuer should have it. It's the only way children learn. Thank you for bringing Charlie back, brave, gallant adventurer. I'm an adventurer, Gran, and my name is Charles. Charles! It isn't polite to shout, dear. Now let's go home and have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> 